Southern Arizona adventure. Behind me is a mountain range that I hold very close in my heart. I've had family hunting out here and exploring out here for almost three generations, and this place has always captivated me in its fascinating beauty. In its entire north to south expanse, it ranges over 87,000 acres, and at its peak, just behind me here, is almost 9,700 feet. The mountain range behind me encompasses four different types of biomes throughout the southern states. Evidence of Cochise Indians and Apache Indians have been found up in these mountain ranges. And the actual range itself, the Chiricahuas, is named Turkey Mountain by the Apache Indians. From bighorn sheep to leopard toads, and on the dangerous end of things, we find mountain lion and black bear. And most importantly, Sombra was a jaguar that was spotted out here in 2017. Ranchers have documented encounters with the jaguars many times over the last hundred years. From encounters with their dogs to personal encounters, none life-threatening, but they have seen jaguars, and the last spotting was in 2017 on a trail cam. But the more imminent danger out here, with our placement within just a stone throw to Mexico, the most dangerous factor up in these mountains is drug smuggling and human trafficking. Over the course of the next three days, I'm gonna show you exactly why this mountain range to me is so fascinating and why it can be so dangerous. We may have encounters with illegal immigration or wildlife, although very doubtful it is possible. So stick around, watch this video, and please give me a like and a subscribe. Well, I was sort of hoping that this adventure would have started already. Um, I'm looking to get up into Rucker Canyon, which is way back up that way. Um, and as I was coming in off this road, uh, I blew a brake line again. Um, it's pretty routine for myself now. I'm having trouble finding any extended brake lines, but I'm currently waiting on my wife's cousin who's coming down from Marinci. Uh, I had, fortunately, an extra brake line with me because I was scared of this problem uh, as it's happened a time or two prior to this, actually four times now. Um, the side I've been breaking is fine. The, the factory side, I just broke that. So I'm waiting on my wife's cousin to come down. He should be here in an hour. So once he gets here, we'll get these brakes bled and we'll be on our way. You just killed her one. I just chilled. Smoked the blood or what? Michael just pulled up. I didn't smoke at all. Uh, Save the day, help me bleed my brakes. His rig is looking very nice. Got full kings, got shackle hangers in the rear, all pro sliders, this thing is built. Now we're gonna head up into Rucker Canyon, try to find us a camp spot. We got another guy coming out here pretty soon. Um, hoping I don't lose another brake line, but we'll see. Chris rolled in last night, pretty uh, pretty late. The plan yesterday was to meet everybody. Um, today, I kind of forgot anyone was coming out last night and I dropped a pin in the chat pretty late. We got Chris here in his third gen. He made it somehow by miracle. So I'm rolling down the road. And now we're making breakfast. He's got some eggs and potatoes going on here. We're gonna get ready to go shoot up that canyon way out in the distance. Turkey Mountain.
got to the edge of, or the end of Trail 856, um, and collect a little firewood and probably turn around. We got to meet the other guys. We got about, I think like seven other trucks coming out. So we're gonna mo mosey back to uh, like the Turkey Creek Road, and maybe head up to the top. But uh, this canyon's cool. It's definitely worth checking out. You can go a little bit further up this road. We're about at the end, and there's some trails up into the top. But really pretty. A lot of uh, Apache pines and some sycamore down here. It's pretty neat. The whole gang just rolled in finally. Matt's here in that beast. Jack's here, Hayden in his uh, 97, 2500. Yeah, dialed. We were unfortunately getting ready to roll up to the top, but Jack just rolled in and he's got a big old crack in his diff. After about an hour drive up the 181 highway, we headed south on Pinery Canyon Road, which we would take up to the top and it would take nearly an hour to reach. With the specific camp spot in mind, we were eager to get there quick before dark and ensure that nobody had taken it. There had not been a single other car within our hour drive to the top, so we were optimistic that our spot was free and clear. This area of the Chiricahuas was heavily burned a number of years ago, and that was clearly evident with all the dead trees and debris on the side of the road. Although heavily burned, every corner of this road provided a new, unbelievable view. Arizona is by far my favorite state in the entire country. Although I may be partisan due to the fact that I live here and have my entire life, there's just something about this state that keeps me wanting to explore more and more. I'm moseying on over to Matt's setup because this is too legit not to show it. I just got really enthused <laughs> about his sink. Give us a demo. Check it out, Dometic. Oh my God. This man just pulled in. It's like 8.30, he finally rolled out here. There he is, and Molly. <laughs> no. This. Mm. Too close? I, I feel like it.
heading out on a little nature hike this morning. All the fellas are out. We're cooking, uh, we're cooking to find some water. There's a little structure down yonder. But out that way, somewhere out there, there's a little stream, so we're gonna go find it. And after that, maybe do a little mountain bike ripping. I think we're gonna stay in this spot all day and relax. Escalator down for the Molly. Yeah, a doozy. <laughs> a doozy. That's a view, though. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Cooler than this, for sure. <laughs> Way more fun watching him do it, too. Yeah, boy.
do this shit again. Come on. Dude, she's such a wood. Well, that's it for this trip. We're all pretty much packed up and ready to get. Um, the wind rolled in pretty hot and heavy last night. Uh, kept me up a good portion of the night. We didn't cook breakfast because it's just getting really bad. So uh, we're gonna roll out of here now. I hope you enjoyed this trip. This mountain range is something special. Uh, we're gonna be back here again very soon and we're gonna be bringing some more really cool content. So stick around for that.